We've had an exclusion zone in place from nine o'clock this morning, and this is the exact reason why we had the exclusion zone, to keep everyone at a safe distance. All the residents were outside of the zone, so there's not really, you know, safety was still the number one priority. And the building was brought down safety with no casualty to, or damage to property either. Churchill may be down, but at the moment, Montgomery is still standing strong. The danger is far from over. Nobody knows how stable the building is and whether it too might fall at any moment. To give him some clues, Robin takes a look at what's left of Churchill House. Now it's down. We've had a quick look at the debris pile and it would appear that what's actually been the cause of the problem is that there were steel pipe sections actually set in the middle of the concrete legs. Now, never come across this before, and neither have any of the engineers who I've been speaking to about it. We were drilling into the legs to place the explosives, and we thought that the drills were actually hitting the steel reinforcing bar, but the reality is that they were hitting a strong steel section, which had enough strength in it for a short period of time to actually carry the weight of the building. Armed with this new information, Robin can make a more informed decision about how to tackle Montgomery House. And with hundreds of residents still locked out of their homes, he doesn't have long to do it. What we're looking at doing is going to obtain some heavy wire pulling rope, and we're going to use a remote control machine so we can drive that through the building and use that to thread the pulling rope around the columns that have got the metal sections in them. And then we'll pull on that with two large heavy excavators, and hopefully that will have enough uh, force to actually bend and buckle the steel that's currently supporting the building, allowing the building to drop. Robin's plan is simple. Thread the steel cable through and around the concrete pillars containing the steel. Attach two excavators at either end of the cable and pull. Hopefully this will pull down the remaining supports and the tower will fall. But as we know, there's no guarantees in this game and the team can't be 100% sure that this new plan will see Montgomery fall in the direction they originally hoped. These big wire ropes that we're looking at using are 48 millimeters diameter. The breaking strain on that, without doing the calculation now, would be something in the order of about 70 tons or something of that order. 